Here are 15 things that you must know about living in Johns Creek. Johns Creek is in the north, northeast part of Metro Atlanta, just next to the city of Alpharetta. So it's very similar to Alpharetta, similar amenities, similar feel, and the property taxes are going to be pretty similar to Alpharetta as well. Johns Creek is in Fulton County, just like Alpharetta or Roswell or Atlanta. All of these cities are part of Fulton County. One thing you should definitely know about Johns Creek if you're thinking about moving there is that there isn't really a city center to Johns Creek. They don't have an area like Marietta Square or downtown Alpharetta. Johns Creek doesn't have a city center quite like that where you can find easy walkability to a whole bunch of shops and restaurants. Of course, they have commercial areas, you know, and different like shopping centers, but there's not quite a city center for the city of Johns Creek. Something else that you definitely need to know about the homes in Johns Creek is that the average home value in Johns Creek is about 700,000. Compare that to Alpharetta where it's 800,000 or the city of Suwannee where the average home value is about 600,000 and Johns Creek is literally right in the middle in between those two cities. If you're thinking about moving to Johns Creek, you absolutely need to know that the demand for homes in Johns Creek is very high. There are many buyers every year who are competing for the small amount of homes that come for sale in Johns Creek. So it's very often that we see five to 10 offers on a home in Johns Creek homes being sold way above the list price with sometimes no contingencies or no inspection. And so just keep in mind that the demand for homes in Johns Creek is very high. Here's something that you might not know about Johns Creek. It's actually a relatively new city. Uh, cities like Milton or Sandy Springs, or in this case, Johns Creek, have only recently established themselves. So I think it's been about 20 years that they have been a city and they're just still kind of developing a lot of the infrastructure that you would find in another city that has been established for a long time. Like Johns Creek is still developing that city center or they're still developing their fire departments and police departments. And so Johns Creek still has a little ways to go, but they're certainly getting there and they are certainly one of the most popular suburbs in all of Metro Atlanta. Something about Johns Creek that is very helpful to know is that it borders the city of Alpharetta. So many times people who want to be close to things like downtown Alpharetta or the Avalon, you can live in Johns Creek and still be super close to all of those things and not have to pay Alpharetta home prices. So it's very common to live in Johns Creek, but be able to travel to all of those amenities of Alpharetta. If you're thinking about moving to the Metro Atlanta area, you should know that Johns Creek has some of the best public school systems in all of Metro Atlanta. Many of the schools there are rated a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, according to greatschools.org. And there's no question that many of the people who move to Johns Creek come here for the excellent public schools. Another thing about Johns Creek that you really should know about if you're planning on moving there is that there's not really easy access to the city of Atlanta from Johns Creek. For example, the city of Alpharetta is off of Highway 400. You can get to 400 very easily if you live in any of the homes in Alpharetta. Or the city of Suwannee is close to Interstate 85. And again, these roads provide very easy access to the city of Atlanta. Johns Creek, however, doesn't quite have a major road like that that leads to the city of Atlanta. So sometimes commuting from Johns Creek to Atlanta could be kind of difficult, especially during rush hour traffic. You could expect about an hour commute to Atlanta from Johns Creek. Here's something about Johns Creek that you'd want to know if you are living in Johns Creek. There are a ton of golf courses in Johns Creek. In fact, it's well known for having some of the best golf courses in all of Georgia. So if you enjoy playing golf, living in Johns Creek would definitely be a great option. Something about Johns Creek that you definitely need to know is that it is one of the most beautiful cities in all of Metro Atlanta. The Metro Atlanta area has so many trees and it very often kind of comes across as wild or unkept in many of the parts of Metro Atlanta just because of how much vegetation we have here. 
The city of Johns Creek, however, does a great job of manicuring those lawns and those landscaping and making sure that the trees are well kept. So because of that, the city of Johns Creek is an especially beautiful part of Metro Atlanta. When it comes to finding a suburb that works well for the whole family, Johns Creek is a great option. They have the excellent school systems, the excellent home values, and the overall family-friendly environment. This all makes Johns Creek an excellent choice for people who are looking for a family-friendly suburb and is certainly one of the reasons why so many people live in the city of Johns Creek. Another thing that you must know about the city of Johns Creek is that the vibe of the city is very suburban. It's not like the city of Atlanta. There's not a whole bunch of things to do there. There's not a whole lot of tourist attractions in the city of Johns Creek. You know, you can't really walk to everything in the city of Johns Creek. You certainly would need a vehicle because the vibe there is that kind of suburban living. You know, you live in a neighborhood and the grocery stores are a five to 10 minute drive from your home or the schools are a five to 10 minute drive from the home. And the whole city of Johns Creek has that suburban feel. And it really is one of the best suburbs in all of Metro Atlanta. In addition to that, the crime rate in Johns Creek is very low. So this is another reason why so many people move to Johns Creek. The city of Johns Creek was named after the son of one of America's most famous figures, John Rogers. One thing that you definitely need to know about the city of Johns Creek is that it's a very diverse city. Overall, it's about 45% white. 30% Asian, 10% African American, and 6% Latino. This definitely makes Johns Creek one of the most diverse cities in all of Metro Atlanta. Johns Creek is a great city. If you want to know more about what it's like to live in this amazing city, check out this video. I'll see you there.